How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we are going to be talking about a pretty unusual phenomenon that happens when someone is pregnant, and that is pregnancy-induced carpal tunnel syndrome. If you don't know what carpal tunnel syndrome is, it's often a condition that can affect anyone, and most commonly what it does is that there is a nerve called the median nerve that runs through the wrist, the middle of the wrist, and it runs under a tunnel right behind a ligament that goes horizontal in the wrist called the transverse carpal ligament. So when this nerve runs through the arm, it can sometimes be irritated with overuse flexion type of injuries. And because we live in the 21st century, we do use our wrists a lot and we use our wrists a lot for flexion related things. Most commonly, people who type a lot, people who flex their wrists a lot on the job tend to develop carpal tunnel syndrome. But there is a phenomenon where pregnant people can also develop carpal tunnel syndrome. And today we're going to be talking about why and some ways to alleviate it and whether or not it should be a concern. So among the general population, carpal tunnel syndrome prevalence can be between 0.5% up to 10% of individuals depending on the study that's done but a small group of adults eventually develop carpal tunnel syndrome because of overuse of the wrist however studies looking at carpal tunnel syndrome among pregnant people have pretty wide ranges of results some studies show it as little as 5%, while other studies show as much as 70% of the pregnant people in that study developed pregnancy-related carpal tunnel syndrome. So the true incidence of pregnant people having carpal tunnel syndrome is still not very conclusive as far as studies or as far as studies go. We need to do more research on how many pregnant people are susceptible to developing this condition while they are pregnant. What we do know, however, about pregnancy-related carpal tunnel syndrome is that up to 50% of these individuals end up having worse symptoms at night, and most of these symptoms develop around the third trimester. Now, the most common symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome, whether or not it's pregnancy-related or not, is numbness, pain, and tingling in the first three digits and the thumb side of the ring finger. You'll feel numbness, pain, and tingling, and those symptoms get much worse when you flex the wrist. This honestly can be really, really annoying if you are a human being because we use our wrists to do a lot of things. So every time someone with carpal tunnel syndrome is using their wrists, they're going to feel some sort of discomfort. And as a pregnant person, you already have lots of other forms of discomfort in your life while you're going through, you know, developing this baby inside of you. So the goal is to alleviate some of the concerns and symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome that's related to pregnancy. Good thing is, is that for most people, after the delivery of the child, symptoms can go away as soon as two to four weeks. For people who have more prolonged symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome, or if their symptoms are bothering them a lot, even during the pregnancy, a good thing to do is to wear nighttime splints. Past research has shown that wearing nighttime splints alone, so the splint won't bother you during the day, can reduce pregnancy-related carpal tunnel syndromes as much as 82%. One other really important thing you might want to look out for if you yourself are experiencing pregnancy-related carpal tunnel syndrome during your pregnancy is that after pregnancy, when you're holding your baby, when you're doing actions with your babies, to be very careful with how you're positioning your hands because studies have shown that people that, you know, carry their baby a lot and have had pregnancy-related carpal tunnel syndrome can have prolonged symptoms after delivering the child because they're using their wrists a lot to do day-to-day -day activities with their child. So. Uh, be sure to get plenty of rest, be sure to do your splints, and always be open to the idea that sometimes you might need a little bit of medical intervention if your symptoms aren't going away. That's something you have a discussion with your doctor about. 
And of course, I really want to address the fact that why does this even happen? Why are pregnant people more prone to getting symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome? So we're going to address this in this last arc of the video. Now, earlier I talked about how the median nerve travels under the transverse carpal ligament through this little tunnel. That's why it's called carpal tunnel syndrome. Thing is, this tunnel is very, very small and can get restricted really quickly, compressing that nerve and eliciting the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. And pregnancy is one of those things where your body goes through numerous changes that can lead to things compressing the tunnel over here. First of all, pregnancy can increase water retention and increase weight gain. With weight gain, you also have increased water retention. So when you have increased water retention, you have swelling, the area around the wrist swells up a little bit, compressing the median nerve, and there you go, we have our carpal tunnel symptoms. Also, pregnancy, because of hormones, can increase blood flow, can increase blood pressure to among certain people and increased blood flow also pushes water out of the cells in certain areas of the body and if there's already inflammation here in the carpal tunnel then there will be more fluid buildup compressing that median nerve this is why a lot of people who are pregnant notice that they can no longer wear their wedding rings because of the fact that their fingers are so swollen up or their legs are swollen because of all these hormonal and blood pressure changes in their body leading to increased swelling. So it makes sense that increased compression due to fluids in the wrist can elicit symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome among pregnant people. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I personally was very, very fascinated by this phenomenon of why a higher likelihood of pregnant people are likely to get carpal tunnel syndrome. I did the research and I wanted to share it with the world so i hope you got something out of this video i hope you learned something from it and i hope you will share it with someone who may benefit from this information or might find it amusing just as much as i did when i was doing the research behind it follow me on instagram and twitter to keep up with my daily life and shenanigans and i'll see y'all in the next video Mwah. this is ben